All right. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Phil. I'm the host of the No Cuts, No Galaxy podcast, bringing you some Monday sneak peek action of the up and coming Roughneck Heavy Battle Mech coming out tomorrow afternoon for the patch day. What is going on, guys? Hopefully, everyone had a great weekend. Again, my name is Phil. Uh, if uh, you're new to the game or new to the stream, welcome everyone. Hopefully you're having a great day. Hopefully everyone had a good weekend. I know I did. I didn't do jack, and that's surprising for me. I didn't do anything. I ate a pizza, almost an entire pizza, after running a lot. So I guess there's that. Anyways, guys, uh, if you'd like to help spread the word, the gospel that is MechPorn retweets, are appreciated. to drop in that link in the chat right now. Maybe, just maybe, your mom actually does watch these streams and she doesn't know about it so maybe today's the day you know you help her out you know dropping that link all right guys uh we are going to be uh going into the mech lab diving in detail uh i'm going to be taking requests from you guys uh, we're going to go through a few builds um that i think you're you're going to see and of course we're going to drop and we're going to shoot each other um as of right now i've got uh, four other guys uh, well, three guys, one robot uh, joining me. I've got uh, Kaniyashi, I've got Zoof, I've got uh, Darren, All and I've right. also got Chris, Chris Lowry. I almost combined that. Um, joining me, I think he's uh, going to be ready when we are ready. And uh, yeah, we're just going to jump in there, shoot each other, give you guys sort of an idea of what it looks like, what its uh, potential is, all that fun stuff. And uh, assault with the uh, bits already. Um, but yeah, just want to say again, uh, welcome to everyone. Hopefully you had a great weekend. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and raise our mugs before we get started. I think Darren was actually getting his um, 60, oh, 64 ounces of, you know. How are you doing, Mama Bear? Big tub of coffee. I'm doing great. I love this mech. Had a lot of fun over the weekend uh, kind of previewing it and getting ready, checking out builds. It's a cool mech. Had a good weekend. I did uh, just about as much as you did and had pizza as well. Dude, when you run 13.1 miles, a pizza is fantastic. I got stuffed crust pizza. Can't relate to that at all. But, Stuff, uh, you've driven 13.1 miles, but... Uh, you no, know, had it delivered. <laughs> um, <laughs> quick shout out to Wildcard with this seven-month resub. Thank you, Mech, for your, Mech Bro, for your continued support of this channel. Much appreciated. That dedication is real. If we can show them some love in the chat. Um, but yeah, uh, so we're going to go dive in here. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, Phil. What? Hold on. I think your microphone's you're, at like yeah, ninety-five percent again. Oh, I miss it. Like the crackling is real. <laughs> <laughs> My ears. The peaks, See, they I'm hurt. not the only one. <laughs> it's at eighty. Weird. Okay. Oh. Well, while he's fixing that, I will let everybody know out there we're going to do a Roughneck Standard Pack giveaway during the stream, so I'll get that started pretty soon, and uh, by the end of the stream, we'll pick a winner. All right, so that uh, loud noise was brought to you on behalf of Windows 10, adjusting your volumes, even though you've told it not to. Uh, is that better? Is that better? My, yeah, much, it is. Much better? All right. Apologies! There's literally nothing I could do because... This 10. No, um, and also another resub. I figured this was gonna happen, so this is why I was doing the sort of elongated intro because we get a bunch of resubs usually right off the bat. Uh, Zevicon, eight months in a row, one up and wild card. Thank you for your continued support. One Mac half Pro. a Much year high. And speaking of which, uh, six months just got his badge and promotion, Star Wolf. Thank you, man. Much appreciated. Welcome. All the resubs, all the things. You know what? You know what this mech reminds me of? A Shadowhawk, Thunderbolt, and a Hunchback 2 C. Right? Yeah. Is that? Uh oh, we just got a new sub. Oh, new sub. Cairo praise. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your uh, support through via Twitch Prime. Uh, I don't know how long the resubs or subs are going to go, so we're going to it and... Star Wolf, Cairo Praise, Project Mercy, you guys are all awesome. Thank you for your support. But 32 months has to be said. That is a long fucking time. So, yeah, Project Mercy, dude, thank you for the dedication to supporting this channel for 32 months. My god. Man. Throw up your favorite emoticons in chat. I think that'll probably be the longest one today. 32 months tends to be like out there. I think those are the 
the brackets. I think we're about to hit like 33, 34 in a few, but uh, that's a little crazy. Are you guys ready? Are you guys? Are you guys ready you to, talk to, to us? You talking to them? I think I, they're I, ready I, to watch you build next. I'm not ready. Well, first off, um, aesthetics. Um, I'm not gonna lie. When I first saw it at uh, the Ernie. Uh, I thought it was a Shadowhawk, like a, it looked like an industrial mech, just basically like a Shadowhawk based. Um, first thing you're going to notice, high mounts, left, right, torso, uh, arm mounts, um, I would consider those low, uh, mid, some people might consider mid, it's not really below the waistline, but it's in line with the waistline. But the big thing is going to be these high mounts. Uh, this particular, uh, mech comes in a few, a uh, few variants. Got the 1A, 1B, 1C, 2A, 3A, and of course, the hero itself. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into the first one on the list. I'm going to be using uh, NGNG's oh, article yeah. he posted up on uh, NGNG uh, High Mounts FTW craft discussion and prediction. Um, that being said, when this comes out tomorrow, I'll be actually putting these to the test in real life conditions and seeing if I agree or disagree with him. Uh, which I did disagree last time, but it's all right. So the first one is the 1A. He calls for uh, two UX5s with two Artemis SRM6s head flamer uh, because, you know, reasons. So let's hop over here. Um, I guess uh, while you guys are on here, what are some things that pop out to you, Kaneyashi? Uh, anything in particular? Mm, I I like this the size of it. I feels like it's a... Sort of the same size as the the Hellbringer, and it uh, was one of my favorite mechs, so I feel like I'll be able to use it properly. So I brought up uh, that this does. It reminds me of a Thunderbolt, Shadowhawk, and a Hunchback 2C. Like, had had some fun, and this is the result. Have you checked uh, out for, the cockpit yet? For me, it's Shadowhawk and Hellbringer together. That sort of combination. Yeah, it's too ugly to be a, a clan mech. Clan mechs are all ugly? like, yeah. Well, I, I'm saying like it's too square. Like, dude, all <laughs> clan mechs are all nice and round and organic, and this one's definitely is. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that just me or is that no? No, no, no I that's definitely that. true. <sighs> There's nothing wrong with being ugly. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think I'd already have that under control, huh? <laughs> Did that hurt? Is, is that yeah. why? Oh, man. All right. Uh, let's see. We had uh, five tons of UAC-5. And uh, no jump jets on this. Um, top speed here uh, before I tell you wrong. Uh, toss this in here. Top speed with a XL-315 is uh, without... I don't have... I already have speed tweak on this. I'm Fairly certain. 78.5. Let me double check on that, though, before I open my mouth. Uh, that's without tweak. Without tweak? All right, then I don't have it. That, that's going to be fun. Two tons of Artemis. Yep. Well, why haven't they yet made it so you can use the arrow keys for the prompt? Uh, what do you want from me? What, gee? All the things. So much clicking. Oh, hold on. Hold they derping on this for a second. When are you not derping, Phil? Well... There's... Yeah, that's... I wonder if he did well, that. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hashtag Roughneck right now in chat to be eligible for the giveaway what for standard pack, Roughneck pack at the end of the stream. All right, so hashtag Roughneck, is that correct? That is correct. You are not eligible, Phil. What? So I'm uh, just looking at his... Is that why? Because <laughs> you hurt my feelings, Phil. Um, by the way, uh, this is the build. The first thing I'm noticing is I don't know if he intended 
both of you actually be in the right torso. If he did, uh, he's run into a crit slot problem, so you have to do right arm, right torso, which I don't think is ideal for location purposes. Maybe if he was in chat, he could clarify, but... What's that? Uh, so he's trying to do a dual UX5 build. The problem with it is, is uh, you can't do dual UX5s just in the right torso with an X image. So... Mm. It doesn't, so you know, like... I don't think it'd be crazy to even go down to AC5s. That, technically, that would work. Anyways, we'll do this for now, as it fits. Okay. Go ahead and check out the first off camo patterns. Ross hog, all that gold plate. I do like the, um, the cockpit sort of left-right torso sort of armor protection. I like that diner. Looking, uh, oh, I like the checkerboard. Merrick. A lot of purple. The owl. Also have the dragon. Spooky mask thing. Uh, the cat. The cat. And of course, Gavin. Uh Let's go ahead and take a look at. I know this is the favorites of a lot of people, and that is Buccaneer. Let me get you some contrasting colors here so you guys can see what is what. Iris FR brings a bling, it does. Alright, so that is the Buccaneer. Um, let's see what else we got. We got the Franken. Let's go ahead and uh, give you guys an idea of what that looks like. I'll just both darker colors for the skeleton. Go. Um, let's see what uh, woodland looks like on it. Switch over to camo colors. Uh, by the way, woodland does have a fourth. I. It's not a. Right. It's not a. It's based off the tertiary color here. You'll notice there's a dark green, and I actually don't have dark green. Um, and it'll actually, as you can see here, if I put a brown. It takes the sort of color. Uh, it's a darker. It's a darker version of basically whatever the third color is. Uh, so if it's a blue, you notice that it's darker blue. So just keep in mind, all of the newer ones are like that. Um, what about uh, Tiger? Let's go to And Vagabond. Ooh, Vagabond's nice. So how many uh, entries do you have, Darren? Do we need more? I'm going for a while. Okay. You're just going to yep. keep letting people know? Keep going. All right. Uh, we also have the... Battleship. The uh... orange... Flames. Nice... Uh location on them on the legs and arms and what other camo guys again uh let me know um ooh, the new roughneck that's actually a good question roughneck here you go okay so here get the cockpit items yeah i'm just checking out the colors though first so that actually mm, Looks like on uh, like that loader 
vibe, Phil. Uh, Galtor, I already went through those already. If you do miss anything, of course, this video or the, uh, whatever, it'll be clipped and uploaded to YouTube so you can catch everything. The That's... sneak peek? The sneak peek. <laughs> That's not how I said it. The sneak peek. Sneak. All right. Trying to find... Phil. David making fun of my accent again. I love your accent. <laughs> <laughs> that is a long war horn. Let me just play that again for you guys. It's like a construct Guitar, man. works site stereo war horn. So basically it's like the, you know, obviously like a loader mech and uh, got converted here. Because uh, construction workers don't listen to Katy Perry and shit. They listen to guitar music. <laughs> Maybe they do. <laughs> you don't know that. Uh, all right. Where's the... Uh... I'm horrible. Uh, I was hoping it'd be uh, spilled. Oh, I found one for Darren. A what? <laughs> a warhorn or a... <laughs> Hanging cockpit item. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Let me know when you see it. I think it's appropriate. <laughs> huh. Really? Uh. Really? <laughs> Alright, uh, where is the uh, hanging? What is it called? I'm trying to find it. I don't have a. Uh... You know, if that was a search option. Or, <laughs> <clears throat> or like new. Let yeah. Me know. Let me know. It's somewhere in here. Near. Redline Rover. Matt's like, Phil, you're horrible. <laughs> there was, I knew if there was like a new. Or if they came already equipped, that'd be nice. All right, we'll, we'll get back to it. I'm going to leave that parking in there just because there it is. Um, all right, so uh, let's save this. Go move on to the next variant I'm going to check out, which is the 1B. Um, <laughs> you guys are going to like this. Actually, let's see. I think that I'm going to skip over to 2A first. I think this would be appropriate. This is something that uh, I would definitely do. Um, 2A, he's got uh, two AC-10s. Um, AC-10s and beam lasers. I'm gonna look at... You're probably dead-siding it? Yeah, but see, it's funny, on his notes he says, uh, strip right arm. That's incorrect, you'd want to strip the left arm. G-Man, man, you are just slacking, bro. Poor guy. I mean, come on, put some effort into it. Or maybe he's putting it in the left arm so that you won't lose everything if you lose your right torso. Hey, but you're going to be running an XL. So, yeah. Uh, XL 285. So. Uh, six and a half tons. Yeah, that, that does sound actually like it makes sense because that way you can use the arm as extra shielding while also um, shielding your own guns. Yeah, but. Although that's going to be difficult with the giant's uh, the whole, torsos. The whole. Uh, you'd have to. You've got. Now you've got an AC 10 that's mounted up here and an AC 10 that's mounted over here. Further apart. Two. Um, you lose your arm, you're down to one AC 10. If you lose this arm, you're down to AC 10. So it really doesn't matter. Um, I don't know. And let me fix the CT here. So I guess, uh, how are people feeling about uh, the mech in general aesthetically? I see a lot of Zero Mind saying he loves it. Or uh, other people with uh, similar. 
Yeah, well, mech looks great. Yeah, I think it's <clears throat> number one a beautiful mech. Uh, beautiful. In every way, aesthetically, yes, I think it's absolutely beautiful. gorgeous. Gorgeous, um, not like ruggedly <laughs> handsome, but gorgeous. I find it looks utilitarian. Yes, like it's, which, which it's is built beauty for to a me. Job. <laughs> me that is what is beautiful exactly i don't i don't want to look like it has bendy straws for arms that just don't make sense so to me <laughs> yes it's absolutely beautiful but also hard points just make this a winner yeah in my opinion in your opinion all right i also like the detail in some of the weapons because obviously they're grafted onto a loader they have like cabling going on the outside that would normally be all built into the mech yeah, I know the cockpit is also pretty freaking cool. Like lots of view room. I like that about the ballistic on the right and left, you know, where it has the uh, uh, ammo belt. Um, I, I like that. Pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and so this is the two way that he did this on. Um, has a fifteen percent uh, cooldown as well for ballistic. Uh, so that'll uh, par well again right side heavy. I don't really see why he Did what he did whether he didn't know where the hard points were gonna be. I don't know. I don't, I don't know Who knows? Um, also the 3a I'm gonna go ahead and move over to it really quick um, This one has energy heat as well of 5% uh, This one's pretty simple. This is a uh, I do that check out where all the hard points are located on this as you can see arms uh low mounts uh, as far as uh hip uh but all the rest head or so all cockpit or higher um this basically reminds me of a hunchback 2c but 65 tons is um if you can see it you can hit it uh peeps large pulse stuff like that I'm feeling that's going to be the go-to. Speaking of which, he has on this build uh, four large pulse, and they're all high mounts. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we went about that. Yeah, with those four high mounts, it might also be a very good mech for, um, say, faction play with uh, four ER larges. Oh. Yep. Indeed. I think it's a mech that's going to get a lot of play. I also think it'll be a pretty decent patch day tomorrow. You know, like the the patch days where you get new light mechs or new assault mechs, the battlefield oftentimes feels a little uncomfortable. Like, oh man, all we see is assaults today or all I have is a bunch of lights swarming me. I feel like this mech is going to be, you know, it'll be a fun day. It's, it's oh, yeah, going to be heavies enough. everywhere, basically. That's, yeah, that's what I fun. feel <laughs> I mean, and, and it's better, in my opinion, than lights everywhere, but, you know, that's just me. <laughs> you don't like lights too much? He's like, I can't hit those little shits, you know, at least these Pretty like Pretty much, light. man, they drive me crazy, yeah. I appreciate light pilots. <laughs> More dead than alive, but I appreciate them. I mean, that's, you know, saying something. That's strong this might make an interesting... This might make an interesting drop deck, because I think you can take four of them on the IS side. Because the 265, if I'm not mistaken, weight limit. So you just run four roughnecks, call it good. Works for me. Yeah, that's why I was thinking about faction play earlier, because it's like, it's that's a, that's a, um... Like a sweet zone, yeah, sweet zone for tonnage. Right. And then oh, we have, oh, this is the one I'm going to like. All right. On the rough end specifically and guess what i'm gonna do all right guys we're about halfway into the stream i've decided right now i'm gonna give away two standard <gasps> packs so i'm gonna do the first one right now didn't want to make people wait too long just in case they had to go anywhere 
So the people that have entered right now, hashtag Roughneck, if you want to be entered into the drawing for a Roughneck standard, going to give you a few more seconds. While Phil dolls his mechs up. Heck yeah. Makes him look purdy. Heck yeah. Hashtag Roughneck right now. Aaron, you're such a nice guy. Anybody ever told you that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Can there be a um, bold in asking if this is going to be from NGNG's pockets or PGI's pockets? This is straight from PGI. Oh. Straight from Russ's pockets right now. Thank you, Russ. Thank you, PGI. Right now. Nice. And here we go. The winner of the first Roughneck Pack is... Drumroll. Rampage MWO. Congratulations for those of you that are still entering. <laughs> we'll do another one in a few minutes. Rampage, message me with your exact in-game name, please. Rampage. Very nice. All right. I just scared Gizmo downstairs, apparently. Oh. Look here. Ah, huh, there he is. He uh, responded in chat. Devils. Over. I've left him. What the camo looks like on this base. It's the primary. Oh, okay. Um, is there an IS UAC 5 cooldown? On um, one of these, yes. It is the Roughneck, yes. The Roughneck also has. Uh... No, I mean, as in the module. Is there a module for that? Uh, no. Yes. Ew. Maybe. Because <laughs> I'm not seeing any, I'm not sure if there is or not. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. I want to say yes. Just the uh, AC2 doesn't have one. I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I'm just not seeing AC10, AC20, AC5, but no, Ultra AC5. It should be there. Be... You're just blind There's then. Clan Ultra AC5 cooldown, but... It's childproof. Uh, <laughs> one, 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 two, oh, it is. Yeah, it's like hidden among the clan ones. Okay. Are you there now? <laughs> yeah, found it. All right, cool. I wasn't going for. All right. Uh, this last one. Uh. Window standard fifty seven. Hey, I'm just Wait. this is his build. I didn't make this up. From G Man himself. Girth Fillmore, is there really a store called Zoff? Oh my god. If so, I'm shopping. Uh, Rampage, congratulations. Your uh, Roughneck pack is injected. Good job. Uh, we'll get another one rolling. Service in a few with a here. smile, man. No more waiting. I'm not around. smiling. A lie. All right, I'm smiling. Eight and a half tons. By the way, Darren, how tired are you? <laughs> Jeez. Do I sound tired? Yeah. Well, not actually, not, not anymore now, but you were like half an hour ago. Yeah, I, that was pre-coffee. Ah, because yeah, you were like zombie mode half an hour ago. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. Hey Phil. Hey, hey Chris. <laughs> See, being being human. It is Monday. You know, yeah. It's Monday. I know robots don't have coffee, that. Man. Robots don't have that. No. Problem. Giving me shit. I know, right? All right. So this is uh. I didn't make this up. This is straight from G-Man's aircraft discussion and prediction. 
And he says, and I quote, I know, gross. At first I was going to do three high mounted SRMs, but I figured that the next one will be better brawler. And I couldn't think of anything particular special about this besides the three side torso missile hard points. Don't worry, I'll pick it up from here. You know what, G Man? I don't know, man. I'm, uh, I'm not feeling the faith today in uh, your, your per perceived uh, skills. I don't know, is that crazy? He's missed the mark. Actually, he does have an SRM brawler in the next to that. And last but not least, so we'll have plenty of your LRM needs. Ew. But just think in the future when those LRMs are MRMs. Or rockets. You don't know. That's true. You don't know. Really, rockets aren't those single shelf. Yeah, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter uh, if they're put a pair of like UAC tens in in the arms and have that your main weaponry, and then just have three rocket whatevers. No. Yeah. I'm doing a thing. Let's see, this is four and a half tons, two tons of that. <laughs> Miss you. You alright, Chris? Yeah, sorry, just stretching. I think he almost died. Ugh, I need coffee. Mm -hmm. You too? Coffee. Alright, what are we brawling in this? Alright. That. Not that. Four SRM fours with art, four and a half tons of ammo. LB ten. Oh, one LB ten. All right, that makes sense. I'm gonna say that that'd be a bit crazy. That should be not crazy enough. All right, guys, this is the second and last giveaway of this stream. If you want to be eligible, enter hashtag RoughneckMe2 right now into chat, and maybe you'll win. All right, cool. Done. I feel like... Uh... Oh, I did something similar. But I put the all uh, the cannon in the torso. Yeah, yeah, you actually could do that. Yeah, actually, that makes uh, a bit better. I, that way, as well as uh, if you lose it. I thought originally it was a uh, dual B tens. <laughs> Chris, can you, uh, Darren, if you're in, toss me an invite? Or, uh, toss me, uh, friends. I already got you, so. Ooh, floating jet window. Very nice. Yeah, me. Yeah, we got floating chat now. Hello. I don't know if I'm supposed to show this off, but I am. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually was wondering, wondering the same thing. Did you get me yet? Uh, no. Let's see, Chris. Now we. Darren, I should oh, have already sent. Uh, add some modules and a warhorns. Bombashill. All of our accounts got wiped a bit ago, so... Chris, you get that? Yeah, it said friend invite sent. Oh, we have the new incursion. Uh -huh. We're gonna do... <laughs> do it. No, we can't. Yeah, but don't... I need footage. I'm just kidding. Invite sent. Gotcha. 
Whoa. I just added the Warhorn and the mech lab was empty. There was no actual mech lab. But oh, that means the graphic in the background. MRMs are going to lead to uh... many. We want to do this. We want to do test. Am test. I holding up the stream? Yeah, you know. Huh. Just Invite, a little. please. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get back in the lobby. By the way, I don't have any of these uh, mastered, so this is uh, base performance that you're seeing, base speed, everything. No efficiencies. Um, we will be uh, streaming tomorrow. Chris will be joining me, so if you have questions about patch and all that, uh, tomorrow he will be available to answer questions in regards online. to what he was uh, working on online. so weapons online all systems nominal this is command eliminate all enemies no matter the cost what's up bro what's up let's do this god it's so weird playing with this build of view let's do it yeah I've, I've got my um, settings file copied over I cannot do that. Well, I switch it over when I take like pictures and stuff. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Like a Mario Kart level. What always reminds me of the colors. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, there's a lot of people requesting that the Steiner Coliseum map get expanded to 2v2. I'm pushing for that as well behind the scenes. It'd be nice. There's already two elevators there, or at least Elevator doors. Mm. Are you saying, Darren, you're pushing your own agenda? Oh. Do what you did there? Yeah. Totally selfish about that, man. Ish. <laughs> Target acquired. Who that? Is this off? It's a Karajashi. And a fell. And a dead Zoof. Ow. Ow. I need me backup. Can't both of us. Really? Really? A single hit on my arm and my ult cannon's gone. River. Chris, explain this to me. I've got a yellow arm in it. Oh. <laughs> One or six. Fire moving around. Ah! Help! Guys! Ah, nope. I get, I get you can shoot with your uh, carpet pretty easy. I mean your um, uh, side torsos. I've been destroyed. Ah, Chris coming. Yeah. <laughs> what do you feel Look at that. Phil? Taking the manly way out. Those Good job, four AC soldiers. Twos. Couldn't see shit. <laughs> I know, I was driving you crazy, wasn't I? Yeah, I was, uh, build. I was trying to pop them, but that uh, extra armor and structure. I also don't have modules on here, so yeah, that'll do but it. Yeah, was I correct in, in seeing that I was able to shield with the side torsos to keep my city alive? Maybe. Ah. It feels like a grown-up Shadowhawk. Yeah, yes. it kind of is. Ooh, who, got who got 420 damage? Please let it be me. 
No, that was me. Ah, damn it. <laughs> yeah, it, it kind of feels like the Thunderbolt and Shadowhawk had a baby. Thunderbolt? Yeah. Like, it's got those fat chests going on and the fat legs. No, yeah, not really I called it ugly and Zelf called it fat. <laughs> How do you feel now, Darren? Uh, Apparently, see, Darren is a like very close affiliation with this. With this, Sarah. Thing, right? No, I I think Inner Sphere mechs are beautiful, even if they're boxy, like the the, the I, you know Bushwhacker. Beautiful. You know, we we all have our opinions. Some of them are wrong. <laughs> no. Ice mechs are beautiful of any size. I don't like the curvy mechs as them. much. Ace. I like my mechs you know functional and square and boxy and i like my women curvy you are the opposite is that right i don't know wait on so oh sorry let's go Zo. i'm sorry yay i'm looking at chat leave me alone hashtag roughneck me too right now to be entered into the drawing for the roughneck standard pack as we kill each other Uh, quick shout out to uh, QPen in chat. Dude, thank you so much for your retweets. I thoroughly enjoy your gifts that you put up every Lando single time. Online. Quality, Sensors sir. Online. Yeah, he does that for a Weapons few people, and I online. like oh. his tweets as well. All systems nominal. Yeah, doesn't he do it for MP as well? Yes, and I think he's done it for something else. No MP? But yeah, he does it for MP all the time, but... I love it. Holy... Roughneck. So what do you think of the cockpit, the, the the foot view down by your feet, you know? I think it's cool. Also, yeah. I like the meshing that's on the side. It feels like yeah, a mini very, cage. It's very industrial feeling, isn't it? Pretty oh, is open. It is there a, a, a section missing on the Roughneck? Nothing's missing. In the missing. lower right corner. You're missing. Yeah. In the lower right corner? I don't know. Maybe, maybe just me, but there's like a chunk missing from the cockpit right now. Yeah, it feels like I'm driving a bobcat. Right? Mm. Plus, I have all oh. the cockpit items in it, which also gives it that extra flavor. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I see it's the same thing on the Phil's stream. It's basically the, um, the prong that ends in nowhere. Acquired. No, they're not missing anything. That's how it's supposed to. Oh, okay. New target. Come on, you stop, folks. Get over here. You get over here. Ow. That was me, kind of Jesse. Hey, you shot me. Oh. Shoot you back. Mistakes hey. were made. Yes, yes, get him, get him, get him. Oh, the long, long overheating because of the you no know, basics. Yep, and I have no basics or nothing. <laughs> that was my own fault. And you guys you are all rolling ballistics such too. A long time. Yeah. I need uh, the efficiencies on this. Oh, I found. Got a Jeshi. I'm leaving. Yeah, we're not gonna win this one. I need efficiencies to be able to compete. Ah, got one. Hey, uh, Phil, you look kinda half dead. I'm like, eat the shit. You could just kill me. No, I'm gonna leave you alive and suffer. Ow! Get him, get him! Oh, <laughs> Darren did Only he kills himself. Let me, let me, uh, I gave you the one chance to kill him and you didn't take it. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go get the efficiencies, cause... I took it, he just was quicker at killing himself than I was... <sighs> Literally, I gave him like a million red internals, and you just. <laughs> I'll need an invite in a second. Yeah. Roughneck V2, what? Yeah. Can I just yeah, I need an invite as well. Am I in charge of this? Yes, oh. sure. All right. Thank you. Invites have been sent to both of you. Pick them up when ready. It's gonna take forever.
You know, I'll be very soon. Yeah, what's this? Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this. I think it'll be a good. Um, I mean, when you compare it to to other 65 tonners on the IS side, the high mounts, um, it's sort of like having the, it's like the Jester, right, or the Thunderbolt with the high mounts on the right torso as well. Um, but you get a little bit sleeker of a profile, I think, at least uh, torso wise, um, and then higher mounts than uh, the Thunderbolt as well. So there's that. It is definitely a solid IS heavy mech. Oh yeah, definitely. And of the recent releases, one of the more fun mechs for me. Although I have been having some fun in my salvaged uh, supernovas, but... Ah, salvaged, quote unquote. <laughs> have you... Salvaged? Darren, have you... Your... Have you been acting like you're, you know, Ripley with, with the roughneck? It feels like it. There needs to be a little, um, you know, that thing she got in. Yeah. Our little mech. Yeah, it needs to be one of those for a cockpit item or something. I don't know. All right, guys. Almost there. Appreciate your patience. I'm a horrible person. Should have had this done beforehand. Hashtag not yeah, a Warhammer. Fair. I didn't think about it. We'll Warhammer about it. OP will always be my favorite mech nothing's taken that away don't worry and opie by the way congratulations in your uh your playing over the weekend the uh was that mrbc phil that you guys mm -hmm. your, your unit was yes. playing huh? yeah that was some good matches yeah. and i was there for the first 10 minutes and then i was gone <laughs> so zoof was supposed to be there uh, mrbc season nine got to see some of that over the weekend and that was fun <gasps> all right never mind because <laughs> i'd have to unlock all those skills too ah uh, sucks when everything's wiped all right The lawnmowers, the roughnecks, what? Do you remember the artwork Shimmy did for Aces? The, the... Yeah, it was like a, a, a industrial mix. The aggro mix, yeah. yeah. There's two of them. Reactor yeah. oh, okay, gotcha. That's Sensors what I'm getting the feeling online. for right now. Weapons online. All right, we can do this. <laughs> this is command. Eliminate all Oof, enemies, hot. no matter the cost. Come on, Darren. <laughs> Weapons groups. Yeah, yeah, I can do this while Bob moving around. Oh, he changed off his quad AC twos. No. Damn. I didn't never had one of the had two UX fives. <laughs> it was Bobadil, freaking quad AC twos in my face. Oh really? <laughs> ah, there he is. Oh, low mounts. Ow! Ow! That's it, so if you take it. Yeah. One in the back is Gauze PPC. Oh, really? New target acquired. They're coming around the left side of this. Yep. Right behind you, uh, Darren.
Right side. Watch your left. <laughs> you guys popped a UAV? Who does that? We do. You're after me, push him. Ow. Ow. God, what was that laser burn? <laughs> just dead. <laughs> yeah. Ah! No, 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 no. Go for that side door, so. Yeah, yep. Got him. <laughs> we almost have it. 3v2 is. Yeah. Uh, Up easy, deep easy. red CT. <laughs> I mean, this build is hot, but it works. It's the um, Thunderweb all over again. Yeah, the four large pulse works, but man, it is hot. No, actually, this is um, six medium pulse and oh, one large pulse. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah, trying to do my four large pulse like I have my Warhammer. It's just not as efficient, but yeah, I need to tweak the build a little bit. Um. I'm gonna say. Thinking, does the uh, does the two, what is it, the uh, 3A also have a ballistic? Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. Ballistic. Second. Or is it all energy? Yeah, the 3A is all energy. Okay. I was gonna say, it'd be interesting if you could do like a AC-20 and backup mediums or something like that. But, like a torso mounted one. We can win one of these, maybe. <laughs> well, considering, you know, we got... This is a trial of position. Weapons so far, online. your position is, I don't know, doggy style? Uh, wait, what? <laughs> there it's, a, it's the only time Darren can ever mm -hmm. beat me, so he's, he's loving it right now. Loving it. Yep, Darren, I'm, I'm, I'll uh, give you a kill this time. Yeah. On there, old man. You're not tired already, are you? Come on. I'll ride in your wake. Is <laughs> that called when you're driving right behind him? Um, slipstream? Yeah, slipstream. Slipstream me, bro. Okay. Although we don't want uh, Lowry to get chewed up over there. Ah, uh, he'll be fine. He'll be an accident destruction. <laughs> Oh, hello. Ow. Ow, I did. Oops. Ah. Flamers. Ah, I'm typing. No. Serious. I had a cool shot, by the way. That's why I'm still uh, up. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, I had a cool shot for this one. 
Yeah, they've got like modules. I don't have any modules. <laughs> there's, oh. th there's three of them. There's two of us. This is what it's like to be killed when you're in a roughneck. That's what the preview stream is. <laughs> is that what that yeah. is? Mm -hmm. I can drop out if you guys want. No, no. Just no, throw one of... You can end on a victory. Throw one of us on your team and... No, that's all right. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> well, I mean, if you die last, that, or I mean first, then you could uh, spectate Ken Jash and watch him or show him do all the work. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Hold on, I'm gonna switch uh, Mac again. I think. Uh. Yeah, let me try the um, quad U back two or. Uh, it's holding. Is that what it is? This film makes excuses. Apparently. Yeah, don't take the quad two. They. It's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that Darren had to think. It is a total troll build. They will be out there. <laughs> And I totally kept missing my, um, or misjudging my, um, SRM shots, like, at, at fire, just before the cooldown was over. Yeah, Prometheus, I'll hop back in the mech lab, I'll, um, go over a few things, online. yeah, before we end here. Sensors You'll experimentate? Online. Yep. Weapons go up the camos again. All systems nominal. We can make this the last match? Yeah, I can go on. Ooh, taking damage already. Nah, that, that was just destroying. Yeah, all this will be put up on uh, the YouTubes. And even then, there's also the Twitch fault. Nah, I don't like things crap. Yeah, it's not that bad these days. Or you just wait, look this up on YouTube. Or do you just want those sweet, sweet YouTube views? No, people have even... I don't like watching VODs on Twitch. I actually do for uh, other channels. I'll watch highlights that are like, you know, 10, 20 seconds or something. You two, all of them. Yeah, all two of us. Hey, can I just you, how do you like this uh, barrage of it. shots? <laughs> Hello. No, go away. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for saving my ass. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was going to get one person. I just want to get him once. Oh. Yeah, there's a UAV up. I was wondering how they knew exactly where I was. Well, I mean, I also had to target it, so that was death. Alright, so just to sort of recap, got back here to the mech lab, damn new load screens. We've got the uh, 1A, uh, obviously the special variant as well that comes with the uh, special camo. That's really the only uh, difference, I think that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much it. Doesn't have any special geo. Anything like that, exact same as the uh, 1A as far as uh, foreseeables. And the 1B, uh, the 1C, 2A, 3A, and then of course the Roughneck itself. Um, what I was wondering was that, yeah, it's energy only.
yeah, you definitely do, uh, I think you'd probably even do dual large poles. Five mediums, technically, you could do that. That's even more so than the, um, Jester, um, if you wanted to. I could definitely see that working. Or at least even, even if you do something similar to that. You don't have the investment of the jump jets either, so, yeah. Um, let's see, we've got the... Adelos? I like the 2A. Obviously, with the extra pull down from the uh, modules, you'll probably notice that as well. Good overall hitboxes. I didn't think notice anything uh, specific. Did you guys notice anything? It seemed no, to not really. Seemed Three to versus up. two isn't very fair. I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, um, but I felt like I was able to uh, spread stuff as well. Yeah. It, yeah. It was, it was decent. Yeah, I didn't. didn't of course, see we'll anything. see the official testing on that tomorrow. But yeah, it does. Well, it seemed tanky. Off. And for, yeah. you know, someone focusing on you, three well, on Phil, one or if, two on one. If, say, you would have gone for legs, would it have made a difference? Because legs are quite large, even from the side profile. Yeah, I don't think it would have made in in that scenario. Well, I mean, would have hel helped, because they're, they're quite large, I feel. No, I don't think that would have really made a difference in, in regards to 3v2 or whatever. But in general, uh, front profile of the legs isn't bad. Side profile... I mean, they're not thick, it's just they're oddly shaped, right? Got like the kneecap protector. Yeah. Yeah, all that. But uh, overall, high mounts, great. I think that's what people are going to really like. Um, I definitely see a wide range of builds on these, whether you do Peep and Goss, which I think is naturally something I'll enjoy just because I enjoyed um, those types of setups. But then you've also got uh, definitely brawling, um, a lot of ballistic and missile and energy combos. Like I was wondering earlier, is did you do an AC-20? Uh, I don't think that 1A would be better for that. You could do AC-20 with missiles, sort of like a giant Centurion 90H, but uh, yeah. 1B. No. I'm trying to look at Yeah, all missile and ballistic, uh, so ammo based uh, would be the 1C. Way. The 2A could work, you could do an AC 20 on it, or even a Goss, right? Torso, backup uh, mediums, but I definitely see something like a AC 20 with a medium pulse or something to that effect. Lots of comments that the, uh, the, the, the torso mounts are too high. I get what you're saying, um, but at least they're not like on stilts or something on the shoulders. Uh, they, they could be, I guess. <laughs> and the one thing I will say that keeps this in check, in my opinion, it doesn't have jump jets. Bad jump jets. Yeah, it is very ground bound. That would uh, that'd be very strong. Also, while those torso mounts are high, they do have sort of that hunchback quality where they yeah. are protruding from the mech and make it fairly easy to shoot. Yeah, the torso mounts remind me of the um, the Shadowhawk a lot. Like, like even the way that they are um, mounted on this box that goes up first. Yeah, so you could definitely do uh, AC twenty through medium pulse or something backup uh, shield side. Shadowhawk on engine. steroids. Yes, that's definitely the feel. Uh, hey, Barra Duel. By the way, that's Molten Metal out there, the YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the stream. So that. Uh -huh. Anyway, you recognize the name? That is. Uh... That so definitely you could do that on that. Those colors, Phil. The rough nut colors. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Um, I definitely think dual large poles and then the backup mediums. Um, this is very similar to the jester. I could do that. The the quad large pulse was whew, yeah just I, too freaking hot. I think if you were. In, in all actuality, I think going the biggest XL you could, just like the Jester. Um, and the reason why you do that is uh, just for the speed. Um, and it allows you to just throw in a ton of double heat sinks. I think. And, yeah. Yeah. I think you could, you could do a few things here. Actually, you may have much ton of Amsem with the resub. How you doing, man? Thank you for the dedication to the channel. Four months. Amsem, thank you for your support. 
Oh yeah, get to arms. All right, guys, just a few more seconds of uh, hashtag Roughneck Me Too right now. If you want to be entered in the drawing for a Roughneck Standard Pack, going to give it away in a few minutes here. So I guess the difference between this and like uh, the Jester would be. Um, oh wow, this. Um, the difference would be uh, the arms uh, on the Jester are the high mounts, and the torso ones are the low mounts. Whereas this, the torso ones are the high mounts, and the arms are the low mounts. Um, I could even see something possibly of just not even worrying about the um, arms in general, going dual large pulse and triple medium pulse. I could see that happening, actually. Um, that way you don't have to keep armor on the arms at all. See that happening. Jester also has a lot more offensive quirks, whereas this one is mostly defensive. Yeah, so, and I think you you run into issues if you do take an XL, if you have too many, like, you'd have to drop the... I mean, it's quite possible. You can drop the Indo. I mean, you don't really need it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could do that and just basically up armor. That gives you... one45 heat, heat management with that. I think... Uh, with those type of high mounts as well. So that's just off the top of my head. The large pulse being up top. Purple medium pulse or something to that effect. And of course you could drop the medium and go back to mediums, but uh Yeah. Plenty of options there for a uh, laser setup. Um ballistic wise, I think the that right torso slot. I think you're going to run into the same issues with uh, the arms as you do with, like, uh, sort of like if I'm running on the Timby with a peep or whatever, where the peeps have the clearance, but the Goss doesn't, so, and you don't have the jump jets to be able to help clear. Um, by the way, this is what Goss rifle looks like in the right arm, if you're wondering. Like, all enclosed. All right, guys, here we go. The winner of the second Roughneck Pack standard pack for today. We'll see you out on the battlefield tomorrow in your Roughneck. Here it is. The winner is... Da, 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 da. Greyhound 3. Congratulations, Greyhound 3. Nice. Whisper me your pilot name, your name, pilot name, and you are set. Roughneck IPL. Lovely. Very nice, Greyhound. Congrats, man. And of course, Silent Hawk. Roughneck hype, y'all. Seven months in a row, bro. Thank, thank you for, you for your support. support. Silent Hawk, thank you. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, Gonna give uh, Gra Greyhound 3 30 more seconds to respond, otherwise, we'll redraw. I think. I think. A quad AC2, I don't think it's cra crazy, but I also think you could pull the quad or um, triple AC5s on the 1A. Well. I don't think that would be crazy. Ten more seconds, Greyhound. I don't know. Lots of lots of science to be had, to be done. All right, Greyhound, got to answer in chat. Unfortunately, Greyhound stepped away or something, so we're gonna pick another winner. Here we go. P Dills, congratulations, oh, P Dills. I know you're out stick. there. I saw yeah, you he is. P Dills wins. Very nice, man. What happens? He deals. Grats. Message me your in-game. Congrats, Pete Dills. He's like, I'm definitely here. Yeah, I saw him talking. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could definitely, you could do dual LB10s. I'm just saying for a, uh, for argument's sake, you've got four ballistic, two missile, one energy. Uh, got a blank canvas. The two right torso ones are high mount. So even if you did do what uh, I think Chris and them were doing with the four AC2s just for a troll, the nice thing is at least two of them are always high mount. Uh, obviously, you'd be running XL uh, because you want to go fast. You don't really care about that. For me personally, I would rather go fast with this than be vulnerable. I mean, you would pretty much load up on like one energy weapon just for backup, and then all the rest would be ammo. You'd even do Pharaoh, probably on, on that case. 
Yeah, you don't need the energy weapon. Just another ton of ammo. Yeah, get that. I mean... Get those AC2s running in the macro. Just da 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 and just yeah. blind a person. But if you weren't going to do AC2s, I think you could do triple AC5s pretty effectively. Obviously, dual AC10 works. I think if you're doing dual AC10, unfortunately, you don't have left, right torso. Um, the best you're going to have to have is something like that where... So... All right, P-Dills, congratulations. It is injected. You've got it. Have fun with it tomorrow. Is P-Dills a play on... Is that like D-Pills? What are you talking about? D-Pills. You take them when you get older. <laughs> P-Dills? I don't think uh, so, but now that that's in our minds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're, we're not dropping anymore, right? No, no. I'm we're just going to show together. show off uh, really quick the uh, camo patterns for uh, people that weren't here. These are the faction camos. Um, again, this comes out tomorrow, the Roughneck. This is the uh, first uh, Piranha Games uh, created uh, battle mech. This is actually a industrial mech converted to a battle mech. That's why you get that sort of vibe. And we've got the uh, Liao ammo here. I actually do like the Liao as far as like the... It's sort of similar in my opinion to the, um, the Davian as far as the underlying... You've almost got like that hexagon underneath you know the the main color whereas the davion has it's almost like a uh, little diamonds that's just under the base color i like that about uh that then you've got merrick well diner and the rossa hawk but uh yeah guys so anyways this was uh your sneak peek for the roughneck this does come out tomorrow i will be playing it um Lots of science to be had. I think it's going to be a good performer just based off of one high mount, 65 tons, good amount of hard points. Uh, the things that I think will keep it in check, uh, no jump jets, ground bound. So uh, I think uh, that'll be Achilles Hill if it had anything. That'll that'll be the one thing that, that keeps it. Well, it doesn't have everything. No ECM, no jump jets. Yeah. So it doesn't have everything. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's definitely tanky. Obviously, um, we can go over, you know, tomorrow as we play through and start to get a real feel of how these perform in the uh, in the game. We can. Uh, I like that color combo you have there. Green and red, kind of, it greenish, yellowish, red or something. I don't know. I just did the rough neck color shot all of them for right now. Um, Here's the other than that, uh, yeah, guys. Hopefully, it's really good. Yeah. Hopefully, you guys had a. Uh, Good time. Again, this comes out tomorrow. Um, Crusader always reminds me of the uh, uh, British flag for some other reason on a lot of them. Not Which one? This one? Crusader? Yeah. Yeah. Crusader yeah. in this one looks very unique. Yeah, it's good. They did a great job. The 3D modeling is really good. Uh, people were noticing in the previews the, the details on the legs. There, there is a lot of details on this mech uh, in the cockpit and outside. And yeah, just... Uh, Pretty sexy mech, in my opinion. Go IS. Come on, Darren. He's having. He's. I haven't seen him this excited since the you know unseen. It's heavy, right? It's, like my, the, it's my mechs. We've, we've he's been fanboying, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's fanboying. You can hear since he, we've had a heavy. You can just hear him. He's like, oh giddy. I love it. Um. But yeah, this comes out uh, tomorrow, uh, patch day. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff. Um, Chris will be joining me tomorrow. So if you guys have questions, uh, he will do his best to answer them and or tell you no. Um, <laughs> My patch vid is being made as we speak. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for us. Just want to say thank you again for uh, coming out here. If you guys have any last minute requests for seeing a particular particular variant, oh, uh, now's yeah. the time to do so. Um, if, uh, Spheroid for life. I got to jump into another meeting. Uh, Phil, poke me when you need me. Yep, sounds good. Um, good playing with you guys. And see you tomorrow on the battlefield because you know I'm going to be riding this thing. Libby, man, cool. thanks for the uh, bits. Uh, Later, let me guys. just go over really quick. Darren? Darren? Go ahead what? and on oh, the stream. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, nice. Jeez. See you later, Darren. Let me um, go ahead and showcase what uh, LRM 20s look like on. Uh, Someone, someone's gonna ask. 
Oh, hey, look at that. The LRMs on the arms at level 1C are up top. That's sort of like the uh, tribe that does that. Or this. I wonder if the SRMs do that as well. Hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. they do. Yeah, they do. They are. I didn't even see that. All right, cool. So, and then the uh, sixes also mount, same location. All right, so there's that. Um, obviously with the uh, new tech coming down the road too, um, I know a lot of people are looking forward to uh, MRMs, all the other fun stuff, yeah. So this is actually really good. Um, or SRMs just because of flight trajectory. As you can see here, they come directly forward. So at least three out of four of them do. These SRMs might, if they fly directly out, I'll have to, see, I'll have to test on that one. Um, that, let's see here, I don't think else really surprising. Other than you guys have already seen what uh, where the peeps are. Nothing surprising about that. Uh, can you do dual gas? That's actually a pretty valid um, thing. So let me, if you were gonna do it, I think the 2A is probably the best bet because of the cooldown quirk. Um, you could do it right here. Let's see how much. Yeah, you want. But yes, you can definitely do dual Goss on this. Um, but again, just to sort of uh, go out there. You know, as far as I don't, I would say torso gauze is fairly risky because it has a pretty extensive amount of structure quirks. Well, not even that. Like, okay, so if you were to compare this to other sixty-five tonners that are able, you know, IS wise. So if we switch to IS, that have the ability to take dual gauss, you have Jaeger. Yeah, yep. the Jaeger I think is better, and the catapult. I would almost say the, the K2 might be better just because you don't have this huge difference. Now, even the Jaeger, at least uh, they're high mounts as far as both left, right arm. They're both equal. This, uh, I hit the dirt a few times when using this uh, just in the play test. So I don't think that would be the most ideal. You can do it. I don't think there's anything. There's something messed up with the icons. <laughs> It's a spider, it's the Jaeger. Um, but uh, yeah, I think a uh, Jaeger and a, a catapult K2 would be better, in my opinion. So there's that, for what it's worth. Any other uh, requests, guys, as we ramp up? But uh, yeah, it's definitely a. Uh, Lots of little details in this mech. It's definitely a good looking mech. I said it was ugly to irritate Darren. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not like round and organic. It's definitely industrial. You can see it's like the tacked on stuff. I definitely like that. I think it's cool. I like that uh, ammo feed belt. I think that is is something that you know us as as fans oh, yeah. can appreciate uh, on that right tour. So uh, oh, wow. Uh, that's really cool because you know some people are like how do you get ammo if you put ammo in your legs to your right torso it's a totally valid question uh, it's just something the build rules and battle tech never really you know addressed you'd have this huge chain of an ammo from legs or yeah there's no way it goes from up yeah there's no feed system uh, but so that's that's definitely cool but um yeah all right, guys, that's going to be it for the sneak peek of the Roughneck. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself. Again, if you are new, my name is Phil. I go by Sean Lang in-game. Toss me your friend invite if you haven't done so already, just like how you see it spelled right there. 
S-E-A-N space L-A-N-G. If you're new to the channel, click that follow button. That way you guys get email, not email notifications. And of course, check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. I will be posting this up on YouTube. So if you missed it, no worries. I got you. And of course, I uh, just want to say thank you to uh, Chris Lowry, Zoof, and Kaniyashi. Um, and uh, Chris, and I'm, I'm, well, you know, <laughs> he gets credit where it's due. Uh, and of course, uh, Chris, and I'm sure Zo uh, might be joining me tomorrow when uh, the patch hits. Um, let's see. Quick shout out to all of our resubs. We had some pretty uh, lengthy ones. 32 months in a row. Project Mercy. Dude, that is crazy. Uh, and of course, I uh, just want to say thank you to uh, all of you guys for uh, showing up and hanging out. Um, but this has been your sneak peek preview of the Roughneck coming out tomorrow along with other things in patch. Make sure to get, get caught up. If you haven't, head over to mwmerks.com. Get read up on the uh, patch notes. Know what's coming out. We did have a few changes, I believe... Uh, off the top of my head, one of the things that I'm excited to test out is the domination point on Alpine moved. Uh, and there was also, if I'm correct, um, some uh, terrain geometry that was adjusted to help balance that on that particular map as well. So, mm -hmm. thumbs up. I'm looking forward to testing that because uh, it has been either uh, uh, one sided on one or uh, the recent changes one sided on the other. And I look forward to. Uh, to plan with that one so and if we don't we like it as well. we'll just blame chris even though he had nothing to do with that <laughs> and we also have the incursion game mode that we'll again we'll be testing and kicking off tomorrow but anyways guys just want to say thank you again for coming out here hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream if you have any questions comments anything like that feel free to hit us up on our discord server you can contact me directly and or get into the discussion it's a great tool to have throughout the day again uh if you have an iphone ios something or uh, android app works fantastic you can download it on your computer you can even use it on your uh, browser so it's a great tool just to stay in touch with uh, us throughout the day um, and of course if you have any uh, questions or comments you can contact me directly on there um, or through like our, our form or website speaking of which we do have a new website front page coming soon <clears throat> Darren uh, that we're very close to launching so uh, hopefully that'll happen within the next month or two, Darren. Uh, he's going to give you shit about that. You should all ask him about the website next time you, you hear from him. Um, let's see what else do we got. Uh, don't forget we are sponsored by Nick's Jerky. If you like beef jerky as much as I do, make sure to check out Nick's Jerky. Receive 5% uh, off your order if you use the promo code NGNG. And uh, yeah, just want to say thank you again, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon. So. Uh, it's been fun. It's been real fun. Until next time, my quarters. Peace. Bye bye. Goodbye. Later on, good. <laughs>